welcome back to the channel. Finally, I have to start to looking at the Land Cruiser again. The 120 series Land Cruiser. I have two cars. What well, let me down? That's supposed to be some of the best cars around. This Land Cruiser. Just one year now, just problems. I was before that, I changed a lot on it. But it's not because it's bad cars, it's because it haven't been taken care of, it haven't been used as it should, I think. Because a lot of the problem is because of very bad maintenance. The other car is my Lexus LS400, yes? The car is supposed to be one of the, one of the best cars in the world. I gave me a lot of problems. It wasn't taken care of at all. The Land Cruiser here has still has the turbo problem. This is P0045 or something. The turbo control valve is not going up and down as it should. We have test a lot of things and change a lot of things. But we uh, haven't been able to find it. Most likely it could be a wire that's broken. They say we have uh, taken a readout calls from two repair places plus my Kali system come out like it's no connection problem but now I also have to change up the winter tires I'm going to if I can't find out any more soon I'm going to check all the fuses take them manually out and go over them outside the car then some say that this sensor here. I could check that one. I have changed that filter, I have changed that sensor. Yeah. I also have one sensor here. I'm not sure where it's coming from. There's a lot of problems. I just have to go through all of that and look what it could be. While the car has been standing, I had some problem with losing brake fluid. And here it seems like I have found a problem somewhere here. This pipe, all the system is filled up with brake fluid. It could be from my overfilling on the top and it gone down here, so I'm not 100% sure. So I'm waiting for someone to come and help me and press the brake pedal because I'm losing pressure. Now I stop, stop. This pipe is completely finished. I need a new one. Okay. Then I know that. Then my youngest boy was just in trying to start up, but he didn't even need to do that. It was very easy to see the problem. Okay. Then I know. Just have to get a new one like that. Okay. Yeah. Then I changed over to the other summer tires. And looks like some of them had little air. This was just some tires I was uh, getting uh, for a good price. Yeah. That's not the worst problem here. The worst problem is the turbo not uh, getting controlled as it should. So now I'm just... One thing I was thinking before I go on uh, more here, because I, I need this car fixed in some months now. And if I can't find out anything more myself, I just have to put it on a repair place and that's going to cost too much. And now, as you were seeing just earlier in this video, when I tried to put on the wheels and saw that uh, I've been losing brake fluid lately. And you see the brake pipe was completely ruined, so I have to fix that. If I buy some uh, piping 
that is uh, finished or if I have to buy uh, uh, piping uh, in as pipe and learn how to make make it myself that maybe be the best because I have a lot of projects that need to fix that and it could be much much uh, cheaper for me just to buy the things to start to make my own uh, brake pipes but now I'm just going over completely manually taking out every fuse and check them outside the car to be 100% sure that I don't have any fuse that stands or make problem for me. I think we have gone through and checked absolutely all fuses with checking on the top. But I have had situation in the old days. In the old days we had situation where fuse didn't want to go but didn't show like it's supposed to be now I have checked all the fuses in the engine bay nothing there now I'm just going on checking all the fuses inside here too yeah I've been sitting here a while I'm just taking out all the fuses in here. I haven't taken out this big sucker. That's the only one I haven't checked yet. Let's just see. Yeah, it's okay. There, yeah. physically taking out and checking all the fuses in here. And uh, yeah, everything, uh, all the fuses here and all the fuses in the front is okay. Yeah, yeah. At least I was taking the time to double check it so I can come after and say that I have forgot something there but then still I had a problem with the turbo P0045 was it was called yeah the turbo controller but at least I have tried here I'm going to check one sensor on the top I have to just find uh, the measurement and things that it should be on it before I do that. But uh, yeah, I'm coming back with that. But at least I have started doing something again. But now I big problem before I even can move this is fixing the brake pipe. So I, I'm not sure which tool I'm going to buy or if I'm going to buy just pipe. If someone have a uh, good idea which uh, tool I should get good uh, advice to where to buy and what to get that will be very very nice so please uh, write me a comment about that and also yeah for you guys who have been in here looking before this car been standing for a year now it's uh, sad I was trying to save money and uh, just just stand there. It's not going to stand there for the next winter. Not at all. Either I fix it or I just get rid of it. 
is that easy. This car had a lot of problems because people haven't taken care of, you, of it. It doesn't help that it's a Land Cruiser or a Lexus or whatever. If you don't care, take care, it's going to be problems. Yeah, please come back. Please start follow the channel. I have more than 100 videos about uh, this and another 120 Land Cruiser. I was so stupid I sold the other one. Shouldn't have done it. But now I to see. Now I get the problems here. But it makes a lot of videos for you guys. So go in and check out that. Thank you. Please put a like to help. Please put comments what to do. Yeah. Thank you.